Hi guys, Randall here. Today we're gonna feature Black Witch Helena in Arena. Uh, I've successfully pulled her and built her to 107, I think. Uh, she's not at max DX job, but she still performs pretty well so far. Uh, she's gonna be paired with a tank, Nasha, uh, and with Luel. So we have two high AoE damage carries and somebody that maintains hate for a while. Uh, that should work out fine. Uh, first of all, I'll show you the detailed loadout, abilities on off, uh, equipment and whatnot, and then we're going to battle. So let's begin. Okay, before we move on, let's very quickly go over our team. We have Nasha, she's there for tankiness, 9000 HP, 60 defense, 19 spirit and 30 fate, so she can take magic and physical attacks pretty well. Uh, in terms of resistances, 10% to magic, 35% to slashing, so that's really what we want to focus on here. Uh, I have turned off basically everything in her kit outside of Guardian Wall here, and then in her uh, sub job, Sentinel and Tony Blade are on. Uh, that's it, she's there to get hate and live, uh, and she's doing a very good job at it. Now the well, pretty crazy magic at 1100, still 5000 HP, 20 defense. She's not in a tanky Luel build, she's mainly there for damage, uh, and damage she does well. Uh, but if she's targeted by slash or magic attacks, she actually takes those on pretty well. Uh, also, lightning resistance is handy against a bunch of the uh, meta guys right now. In terms of abilities on off, Pretty sure she has everything on in her main job, yes she does. And then as a black mage, I only have flare on. Uh, that seems to work best on this map from my experience. Uh, we have Ketone's TMR, because she often stays too far from the fight, so the extra mobility can be useful in a lot of matchups. And then finally, uh, Black Witch Helena. She has 1400 magic at level 107. Uh, that's insane to me. Uh, 5500 HP is also pretty high, um, and then she has 35% slash resist, 52% magic resist, but when she uses the resist magic buff from uh, Spellblade sub, uh, she goes to 90% magic resistance, which is pretty impressive. So that's it. Um, and then abilities on off. I've turned off dark. Uh, the rest are on because I found it to work pretty well so far. And then in the uh, Spellblade job, all they have on is dark, dark blade and resist magic. The rest is off, I don't wanna want her to use anything else, especially not Taunting Blade, since this means uh, it would mean that she would be the target instead of Nasha. And then I've put her own TMR there, just because a barrier is always handy, and uh, the extra agility is also nothing to, to scuff at. So that is the team so far. Alright, let's try this out. We have an enemy Rain, Kingmont, and Yuna. Uh, they have basically <laughs> really good stuff for fire and then for... Uh, the rest of that, the main uh, challenge might be King Mont getting everybody berserk on our team. If he does that, they're gonna win. Outside of that, um, we're pretty resistant to their slashing attacks and very resistant to their magic attacks as well. So we should have a pretty decent shot. And then I'm pretty happy to be fighting King Mont because it's a good test of how much damage we can do against the toughest characters in the game. Now... Okay, so Earth and Invocation, we've got some single target resistance, we've got magic resistance, Nasha has her barrier, so she's ready to tank for a long time. Uh, who does the re-raise go on to? Okay, Kingmon. So we're gonna have to kill this guy seven times during the fight. Uh, just because of uh, Kingmon being... Uh, <laughs> Kingmon and Yuna being a very uh, difficult fight in general. So Jamming Thrust? A little bit of damage. Uh, he does benefit from the element advantage, so uh, that explains part of why Rain does that much damage. Now, Flare. Uh, it is against Rain. He has a ton of spirit, uh, but Luel has some spirit penetration, so that's still half her HP in one go. Uh, his HP, not too bad. Tonic Blade, so now we have hate on the right person. And let's see, I'm not a fan of uh, the Black Witch using her limit break right from the get go, because now uh, we won't get an AoE out of it. But Rain's almost dead, so <laughs> I guess that's a good thing. Uh, uses the chain on Nasha, so now her barrier is out, uh, but Rain's dead, so uh, Yuna will probably use her next turn to cast full life. Let's see what the king does. No berserk yet. I kind of wish he put that on cooldown, like he used it. Uh, now it's still a threat, and he's close to everybody on our team with full AP, so he's gonna do that on his following turn. Nasha uses Sentinel and groups. No! Why would you do that, Nasha? You're putting everybody in danger now. 
Okay, so we kill Yuna for the first time, but then watch King Mon just putting everybody berserk. Nope, goes for the Maiming Slash and does basically nothing to our team. And then that is probably a flare on King Mon that's gonna kill him. Uh, no matter the HP he has, it'll probably do like 8,000 damage. Yeah, so that guy's done for the first time, comes back to life, and then the Black Rose's Hex on Rain. I've been meaning to see that. 4,000, not as much as I would have thought. Uh, but it's still pretty decent damage against Rain. Now Nasha summons Golem, since she can't do damage by herself, uh, the Esper is actually a pretty good option for her. Um, so we see a pretty cool animation and then finishes off, nope, not even finishing off everybody, anybody, so pretty weak. Uh, but basic attack from the well does that, and then Rain's out of AP, so there's no way he carries his team. I have turned off Dark so that my Black Witch uses Drain, uh, and that seems to be working pretty well against uh, low HP enemies. Alright, now I'm very interested to see this matchup. We have an enemy Titus, Yuna, and Tobi, uh, but they're set up for maximum evasion, so that is pretty scary. Um, what might save us is the fact that uh, both Titus and Tobi are going to be hitting our very tanky Nasha, so we might be fine. Uh, and I'm expecting the accuracy buff from uh, Black Witch Helena to come in handy. Uh, but we might lose just because we are completely unable to hit to be. Uh, I'm pretty sure she has all the evasion passives on, yes. So we, we might just lose from that. Uh, if my Black Witch was at, what, 120, she would have the guaranteed hit ability, and then that would no longer be an issue. Uh, but I'm not there yet, this is an early testing. Still, I want to see how this setup works. Like, we've seen in the previous match how much damage uh, Black Witch Helena can do against tanks. Like, we've seen it against Rain, who's a magic tank, against King Mon, who's a general tank. This time, we'll see what she does against just general attackers uh, that are fairly weak against magic. Uh, and Yuna's still in that group because I'm trying to see if using the Black Witch is enough to, to fight Yuna on an even ground. Uh, that's one thing. My channel focuses so much on non-meta units that now that I have a meta unit to use, I'm like, is this is all the power I have? Like, I can, I feel like I can win just any matchup using her. Uh, but that might not be true. Uh, this is still a game where you have to uh, plan your things and uh, play in a very um, thought-out way if you want to win your fights. So now they're moving forward, we're throwing out the Taunting Blade, obviously missing, but missing both targets, which is pretty impressive. Impaler does basically nothing on Nasha, that's pretty good. And then we have the um, accuracy buff that I think is going to be very important. Now, what I'm hoping from Luel is that she does not group with, um, with Nasha. Pretty sure she'll do that. Yup, she's an idiot. So now, she's basically telling Tobi, please one-shot me. And Tobi's like, okay, well I'm gonna confuse you for now. Uh, that is terrible. Now hopefully this one-shots Yuna, I think it has the potential to. Yuna is pretty weak against Black Witch Helena. 8,000 damage, yup, so she's down. Uh, no more healing on the enemy team. Uh, but we've basically lost Luel now, so <laughs> that's pretty bad. Turns around, hits Black Witch Helena. And then Impaler on Nasha again, she's just gonna tank for days. Now, what is Black Witch Helena casting? And I'm thinking she's probably targeting to be. Does not miss! And one-shots! Okay, pretty impressive considering uh, that, that was not a guaranteed hit ability. And we're not using uh, the vision card that gives her some extra accuracy. Now, against Titus, Drain, because I've turned off Dark, 5000 takes him out and we finish the fight. Oh no, we don't finish the fight yet, because he has re-raise. Let's see. No, not enough AP to do anything, so we're probably just going to win from another drain. Yup. Keeping our full HP and taking him out for good now. Uh, that went pretty well, actually. Better than I thought, because we didn't miss to be with any important attack. Alright, so we fought that team once. Let's do it again in a slightly different setup. They have uh, maxed out fire vision cards. They have maxed out Bahamut. They should be a very strong team. Uh, but let's see how we do against them. Was it this player? Yup. So let's go in. So far, our underleveled team uh, with one MR unit has been competing pretty well. Uh, what I like about Nasha is uh, even against fire characters, I don't really feel the elemental disadvantage that much. Uh, her damage is uh, non-existent no matter what. Uh, and in terms of uh, tankiness, right, the enemy gets like 25% extra damage on her, uh, but their damage is so low no matter what that it doesn't really feel that bad. 
Uh, so she's gonna go out through the Guardian Wall. Now she has enough AP for a Taunting Blade, which is perfect. Uh, King Mont in this setup does not have Bells, so I'm not really worried about an AoE Berserk. Uh, but I am worried about them just having enough damage to eventually take our guys out. Now the re-raise this time goes on King Mont, so he's gonna be the guy we have to t kill seven different times. Uh, he plays again, uh, moves to the front, so uh, we're gonna Tawny Blade both him and Rain, I think. Yep. Now that's a good position. Nasha's pretty far in front. She already takes the energy ray away from the enemy team, so that means our backline is safe. And then uh, we're gonna begin attacking them in a short while. Now Rain will Soul of Prominence. That goes through our barriers and builds a fire chain. Uh, so she actually takes pretty uh, high damage from those guys. Not. A good scenario. Let's see what Luel can do from there. Probably a flare? Yup. So she's gonna flare King Mon for, uh, let's say, 8,000 damage or so. That's usually the case. Oh, 4,000. He practiced barrier on that. That's pretty unfortunate for us. Uh, it puts us at a bit of a disadvantage. And then they hit everybody and finally take out Nasha. So they're gonna begin hitting us with more attacks. Wow. Rain coming in hot uh, and takes us both down. Pretty impressive. Now, we haven't been fighting a lot of Pierce attackers. I'm curious how much damage this guy will do to us, because we're good in terms of uh, uh, Slash and uh, Magic Resistance, but Pierce is a weakness for uh, Black Rose Hill and us, so we might be in, a, in trouble. Uh, but this guy is not built for so, mu so much attack, so we should be good. Uh, still, good maxed out vision cards. They're really going for a strong King Mont and a strong Yuna and uh, we don't care about either of them. We should be able to take them out. Let's see. So launching the fight. Um, what's been our weakness so far? Uh, our main weakness is when our team doesn't group uh, enough early or when they group too much once uh, Nasha has hate. Um, it's not that useful having a, uh, a tank like her if we're uh, like that. Oh no, she uses Sentinel instead of Guardian Wall? Why? That's so dumb. So their King Mount moved forward so quickly uh, that we don't have... Um, we haven't used our barrier and that doesn't generate enough AP Sentinel to use uh, Tunning Blade immediately. So we have one more turn to wait before she can gather hate. Uh, that is the worst possible outcome. And then this guy goes again, hits us because we don't have hate, uh, and we weren't even casting anything on him. She was a sentinel again. That doesn't do anything for us, so stun hacking. Okay, at least our team is pretty tanky, so we didn't go down that quickly. Um, but it's a terrible start. I'm thinking, should I turn off sentinel? I like the ability, it's very impactful, but I did not know it would be prioritized over Guardian Wall. Uh, that is so bad. So we one-shot Ninus. he wasn't able to do much. And then Devastation on King Mon doesn't do much because his barrier proc. Uh, he goes for the well again, doesn't really do any damage. Uh, so we're using Tenable Rose. Uh, that should do more damage than what we've seen since there's a Dark Imperial here. Uh, so 5,000, he's out for the first time, comes back. Can Yuna help? What is she gonna do? Oh, she reaches a lot further forward. So that's full life on Ninus actually. He might still have an impact. Nope, Kiraga, okay. Uh, so that's much lower of an impact because we can just take them both down. Uh, Yuna's out and then uh, we're casting. Uh, King Mont is out of AP, so he won't be able to do much and we'll just heal back with Drain. I like this because it also gives me more arena points because the healthier my characters are, uh, the more points I get at the end of the fight. Okay, let's finish this in a pretty interesting fight. Uh, the two ice carry of War of the Visions with Yuna. I'm not sure why they're running to attack buffs on their team. That seems like a little bit of a waste, uh, but it's still overall a very powerful team. So I'm curious to see it in action. Uh, their biggest strength uh, strengths against us is the fact that they have great AoE attacks. So even if we have Nasha in front, we might all be getting hit together. Uh, but uh, from previous fights, I know our team spaces out pretty well. Uh, also, they use magic resistance buff, so that's not good, uh, but by the time our mages are hitting them, I feel like that's going to have worn out, uh, so we, we, sh we should be fine. Um, also, Oron can break through barriers and ignore defense, so he'll be able to do pretty good damage to, uh, to Nasha. Uh, Guardian Wall is on, but like I said, he can just break that with an ability. 
Protective Ward again. Okay, so their magic resistance is going to stay in there. Uh, seems like it's pretty high on Gilgamesh's AI. Uh, okay, I am very happy that Oron uses Tornado immediately. Yes, it gives him defense penetration. It's going to be a heavy hit on uh, Nasha for like 1400. Uh, but mainly his largest AoE attack is now out. Uh, also, not a one shot, so he tanks the hit. Uh, that's pretty impressive. Tonic Blade on them, wow, 2000 damage. Considering she doesn't have a weapon, uh, that's pretty good. And then Black Witch Helena cannot reach, so she just uses Dark and Focus. Not great. So Oron's gonna go for Nasha, use the Barrier Breaker ability, yup, so 3000 damage. And now she's pretty susceptible to upcoming attacks. Smile Practice, happy that is cast, that means it won't happen again. Uh, Love Jew Absorption. Probably would have been a one-shot if she did not have the um, smile practice on. But for now, she survives it. So Black Witch Helena comes in. That's hitting everybody. I'm um, expecting maybe everybody will die from that. But they have magic resistance up, so maybe not. Okay, two people die. Pretty good. Now, Oron doesn't have his uh, largest AoE abilities uh, anymore. So uh, Luel survives, counters him, slaps him with a book. Uh, so he's back from re-raise. What will Black Witch Helena do? Drain. Uh, so that's my uh, favorite end of the fight. We heal back a little bit even though we were full and we win. So that went pretty well. Obviously it's an early arena showcase, so she's not max level. She doesn't have max level abilities yet. She's not even at maxed out resonance with Bahamut. So a uh, lot more stats that we could have on the table. But the fact that she performs so well in a uh, suboptimal setup is very impressive in itself. I will be doing more arena videos with her in the future, showcasing different builds, so tune in for that. Uh, but if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and then as always, thank you so much for watching, and have a great rest of your day.